Hi, my name is Jia Choi. I'm from Ongo Food Communications. I have a cooking class. So I majored in Korean food and Korean food culture. And I've been running a um, cooking class toward non-Korean. Most of my clients are tourists. And uh, today, I'll cook bulgogi, which is, uh, of course, Korean's favorite and one of um, non-Korean's favorite Korean food. Okay, this is my book. And my book was included in this month, Korea Curated Box. And uh, that's why I'm here to explain and show you how to cook one of this recipe, bulgogi. This is sirloin of the beef, thinly sliced. But if you cannot get it, you can substitute the chicken breast. In that case, just make sure that it's not too thick. Try to make a little bit thin. I'm going to first mince the garlic and the leek. So the easiest way to mince the leek, you just okay, crush like this from the top. And finally, mince the garlic. It's Koreans love garlic. So maybe if you don't like garlic, you can reduce a little bit. But garlic and leek is a must ingredient for bulgogi. The easiest way to mince the leek, you just use the tip of the knife. You don't have to cut all the way down, just cut a few times like this, and then thinly slice the leek. And it is going to be automatically minced. Okay, so this is more for garnish, green onion. So leek and green onion, you know, same family, similar taste. So if you don't have it, uh, you can substitute green onion to a leek or leek to a green onion. I'm gonna put this aside because this is a garnish. I'm going to sprinkle over the bulgogi the last. Just thinly slice the onion. And this is a fruit, Asian pear. Guess why I'm using this? Many people ask me why you're using fruit to your bulgogi sauce. Um, there is a reason. A few ingredients has an enzyme that tenderizes the meat in a very short time. So Asian pear is Korean's favorite because it doesn't have strong flavor. And uh, if you marinate a sauce that has Asian pear in it, the taste is of course very good, but it tenderizes in a short time. So you don't have to marinate for a very, very long time. Okay, I'm going to peel the pear because um, the skin is quite tough. Okay, now. I have everything on the board. I'm going to combine everything and then the sauce is going to be made you know, very quickly. I have here um, about 200 grams of the beef. So for this amount of the beef, of course in a book, everything is not one portion. You have more than this. But if you are cooking just for yourself or for two, I think uh, this much is, would be enough. Two tablespoons of soy sauce and then a little bit of sugar. Today I'm going to use brown sugar. Depending on your taste, I'm going to put about one teaspoon. If you don't like sweet, you can of course reduce to like half teaspoon. One teaspoon of garlic. I minced one clove of garlic and one clove of garlic is about one teaspoon. And then leek, same amount and this fun part. I'm going to grate the Asian pear to it. Asian pear goes in to the sauce. Of course, Asian pear is a little bit sweet, so you can reduce sugar if you have good pear. It has to be Asian pear. The Western pear um, doesn't have the same enzyme. But if you don't have an Asian pear, uh, you can substitute to a kiwi or a pineapple, but I wouldn't recommend mango or pineapple because it has, it's very sweet and it has sort of very tropical, not Korean flavor. But kiwi is uh, very good, but kiwi's enzyme is much stronger than Asian pear, so you have to reduce the amount um, of the kiwi. I'm going to add some black pepper to it. So one pinch of toasted sesame seeds. Okay. Now, I'm gonna mix everything. I wanna see if it tastes all right. It's good. So now I have a sauce with me. I'm going to, going to pour over the meat and make sure 
as well mixed. So try to mix everything until all the sauce goes into the meat. See? There's no liquid, no soy sauce, which means that it's okay. Done. I'm going to marinate my bulgogi overnight. Now, I marinated my bulgogi overnight. Now I'm going to cook my bulgogi. So in a medium heat, you heat the pan, drizzle a little bit of vegetable oil, whatever you have, canola oil, grapes the oil, it's fine. So I have onion, I'm going to start from onion. It's like part cooked and then put all the meat to the pan at the same time. So make sure you're cooking in a medium high heat or in a high heat. Same as steak, it's meat. You don't want to touch or flip too often. Just leave for a while. But since they're very thinly sliced, it's going to cook very quickly. Normally, Koreans eat bulgogi uh, well done, fully cooked. Today, um, I'm going to just cook in a Korean style. Now, presentation, which is very important. I'm going to plate my bulgogi to a platter. Okay. Again, you can substitute um, beef to chicken. This sauce goes well even with vegetables. So if you're a vegetarian and you want to taste Korean bulgogi, I recommend to use um, just a few different types of mushrooms. For example, button mushroom, oyster mushroom, any mushroom that you like, and a little bit of onion as I did today. Personally, I like to uh, cook with tofu. There's one thing that is different from bulgogi. You don't have to marinate the vegetables. And of course, you don't need uh, Asian pear. So except for Asian pear, everything else is exactly the same. So I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of green onion on the top, an accent. And this toasted sesame for nutty flavor, pa crush them. In Korean, masikke jiseyo, which means bon appetit. So this is Korean traditional bulgogi. And let me show you one more thing. Koreans love to eat meat with sam. So this is sam, which means wrap in Korean word. And to eat sam, you need samjang. So to make samjang, you need Korean soybean paste, a little bit of gochujang, which is Korean uh, red pepper paste. And this clear syrup is honey. You can put a little bit of honey. And if you like some leek, a little bit of leek. So mix it. If you don't like spicy, you can just use Korean um, soybean paste. And for flavor, I love sesame oil. So put a little bit of sesame oil. That's it. It's really easy. Okay, let me show you an example how Koreans eat barbecue. So you pick a little bit of bulgogi to the leaf and samjang, just a little bit. If you put like one tablespoon, it's going to be very, very salty. It's just a little bit and then wrap it. So this is some. 잘 먹겠습니다. If you want to get an autographed copy of this book, please leave a comment on the below. If you want more uh, information about myself or uh, Ongo Food, you can visit ongofood.com. There is a cooking class, food tours, and uh, for foodies, we do also design a private food tours. Thank you for watching. 감사합니다.